Hello, hello, guys. Uh, hi, Christian. Good evening, Helen. Hello, it's Kenya. Good evening, Arnoldo. How are you guys? Hello, How are you teacher. doing? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I'm How are you? <coughs> good, good, good. Oh, are you sick? Good, teacher. I almost got a work. Oh, okay. Almost finishing today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> got it. Got it. I have, I have a, um, a schedule. Yeah, you have a very difficult schedule, but the good thing is that you are about to finish. So I think that is important. And it's Friday. Are you working tomorrow? Yes, teacher. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. But only like uh, morning, I guess, right? So you're not working like all day long. Okay, thank you, Kenya. That's okay. I got it. Well, good evening, guys, and thanks a lot for joining. Really good to see you today. Um, uh, Adolfo, thank you so much for joining. Acabo de leer su mensaje. That is okay. Not a problem. So whenever you are... Um, Available, that would be very nice to have you also participating. So, guys, gracias por compartir con nosotros. Es un día viernes, TGIF. Um, I know that most of you are having a very uh, hard week, pero espero, guys, que les, haya, que les vaya a little better, right? I just hope you're having a good one. And, uh, and yeah, hopefully, we'll be. Um, we're going to be finishing um, the session in no time. Uh, Imelda, good evening. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, Judy, hello. Great to see you. Alrighty. Guys, ¿cómo estuvo su día? How was your day? Was it okay? Good was it good? Did you have a good I have day? A lot, a lot of work today. You had a lot of work to do. Okay, okay. But most of you are resting tomorrow, right? So most of you are not going to work. Christian, are you working tomorrow? No, I I not. I don't. So you have two days off. Uh, yeah. Saturday and Sunday. Uh, both days. I'm sorry. Uh, yes. Uh, but days. What do you mean? I have free Saturday and Sunday. Oh, okay. Okay, sounds quite nice. Good evening, guys. <laughs> okay. Oh, that sounds like a very nice schedule. Andrea, good evening. Great to have you. I'm sorry about that. Um, already. Okay, guys. So, espero que ya la mayoría están en sus casas. Eh, creo que solamente Kenya is still working. Helen is about to finish working. Um, mm, mm. Arnoldo, are you with us today or are you working? I'm here, but I am working. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you're okay, okay, but thank you. Okay, that is super nice. So guys, uh, let's get started with today's session. Vamos a practicar un poquito eh, la parte de los causative. Uh, so we are going to practice a couple of verbs. Um, yesterday comenzamos con el make, but we have a couple more that we gotta practice. And uh, of course, by the end of the session, podemos revisar eh, Si hay alguna duda con la plataforma o like with any exercise you may have, uh, we can take a look at it. But guys, let's get started today. And I have some questions to discuss. And so these are related to gossiping. <laughs> okay, so I guess everybody is super familiar with the meaning of gossip, right? And I have like some questions here for you. Question number one says, do you like to gossip? Guys, do you think it is common for people to gossip? What are your thoughts on this? Um, in my case, I don't like. <laughs> okay, but but you don't. Okay, 
normally gossiping is not just saying bad things about people. So gossiping can be about famous people, sharing what you heard, sharing what, I don't know, your neighbor's story, things like those. So uh, not necessarily uh, okay. uh -huh, something, something that is a, a lie. Well, probably. <laughs> so Kristen, mm -hmm. what is it that you don't like? Hello. Mm -hmm. So what, uh, what is it that you don't like? Sometimes I gossip with my friends, mm -hmm. mm, but not always. Uh, so what are the most common topics that you discuss about? Uh, for example, for example, when I wear a uh, weird clothes, for example, mm -hmm. or uh, is uh, about some com uh, about some comment, um, or uh, mm -hmm. uh, something like that okay 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 sounds okay so um so normally you say that uh you can you can talk to your friends about it okay guys we have here a couple of questions a uh, very like uh related to what Kristen uh, was telling us so we have do you like to gossip do your friends all often gossip about you <laughs> Why do you think people like to uh, listen to gossip? Why do people like to gossip about the rich and famous? So normally we share stories. What are the most common themes or topics for gossip? And what are some of the things you like to gossip about? So um, guys, what do you think? Is it common? Is it normal? Is it uh, cultural? So what are your thoughts? Um, can you hear me? Uh, yes, yes, I can hear you now. Okay. But uh, can you hear me well or not? <laughs> mm, is it breaking a little? But yeah, it is It is easy to distinguish your voice. So it is okay. Okay. Uh, well, for me, um, is I don't know, but maybe something natural mm -hmm. to <laughs> human being because we need to socialize okay <laughs> other people <laughs> okay interesting I, I i think it's something that we do even we don't want want to do it <laughs> okay <laughs> so it is like an obligation <laughs> yes it, it's like a a, mecha, um, a me mechanism of the, the defense or the sobrevivencia <laughs> Okay, like a survival instinct. Yes, maybe like a survival instinct. We 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 have to, or, or we have the the need of know what happened uh, around of, of us. Oh, okay, okay, very interesting. So, um, Imelda says that it's something natural, right? Guys, what about the rest of you? So what do you think about it? Is it natural for you as well? Do you think that, um, so is it cultural? Is it just in Salvadorian people? Uh, is it like very common for everybody to do it? Okay, so Adolfo says that it's very natural to gossip. Okay. Guys, what yeah. about the rest? Oh, yes, Adolfo, tell us. Yes, nice it's... to listen to you. Mm -hmm. I... Thank you. Um, I think that it's very normal um, mm -hmm. to gossip, but there are different or kind of gossip. Mm -hmm. For example, you can talk about the nowadays with the social network, for example, mm -hmm. it's, it's more quickly to, to make a gossip. I, I, I think so. Mm -hmm. But okay. yeah, but it's different to to lie about uh, a person, of course, uh, mm -hmm. and and there are uh, different uh, ways to to gossip with the partner of the job, with classmate, with with relatives, including right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Interesting to hear that, guys. Anybody else would you like to share your opinion here? 
So is it common? Is it natural? Do you like to gossip? <laughs> what do you think? Arnoldo, tell us. I know you're working, but if you have like some time, you can tell us what you think about it. Hey, Andre. Hi, Angelica. Good evening. Uh, I think that is normal in in all uh, uh, areas. Mm -hmm. Areas de trabajo. Okay, so field work. Uh, in all, yeah, we can call it fields. I'm gonna write it in the chat. Mm -hmm. okay. So it is common. Yes. I Why? Think that is a uh, como entretenimiento, algo para entretenerse, no sé. Ah, okay. So it is entertaining. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, interesting. Now, guys, if it is something natural and if it is something common, um, so do you like to gossip? <laughs> and do your friends often gossip about you? Do you normally talk to your coworkers or your friends? Yes, guys, tell us, open your microphone. <laughs> uh, well, I, I, I don't like when people gossip about me ah, okay uh, especially when when i know is that some some people uh, some people have lied about me in that oh. case mm -hmm. i i don't like because um they can um or, or maybe they they don't know about my life and mm -hmm. it's not good that people talk when when they didn't know the the true or the the whole situation oh very interesting but have you been in that situation have, have you been like um, in the middle of gossip no no recently but maybe when i was a teenager I mm -hmm. have uh, some situation with classmates, for example. What was um, the most common gossip that you remember that people said about you? Um, for example, when, when I was a teen teenager, I remember uh, some people said that they look me in, in a place when, when I didn't be there. Oh, interesting. Okay. Something like that. Oh, okay. Did it, did you get into trouble because of that? Yes, with my family. <laughs> oh, so they didn't tell you, but they told your family. Yes, because uh, it's a, a situation that um, a classmate uh, told to, to her mother and mm -hmm. her mother told to my sister and it was a... a familiar problem okay okay wow very interesting and and bad i guess uh, now yes. i think it's something funny but now <laughs> yes uh, now. i don't know <laughs> but in that very moment i don't think it was funny at all yes oh okay okay guys what about the rest of you uh so do you have a couple of friends who have um, i don't know created gossip about you so adolfo says i don't like to gossip but some so many people often gossip about me, I think. Because what I because I love reggae music and my long hair. Well, Adolfo, do you have long hair? Many people say Adolfo smoke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I didn't know Adolfo that you have long hair. So um, okay. Okay. Yes, right. Those are like stereotypes. So long hair, reggae. Oh, that person. A smoke something weird uh-huh okay so guys what about what about you the rest of you what do you think i think yuri is going to be just a listener too and angelica as well uh Kristen? hello have you ever been in the middle of some gossips uh, um, uh, i think yes Mm -hmm. But I don't remember uh, one occasion. 
Mm -hmm. But that you created the gossip or people, or people created the gossip about you? Uh, sometimes I, 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 I say a, a day, but uh, joking song, someone, mm -hmm. but it's uh, only a job, a mm -hmm. job, no, it's not, I'm not talking seriously. Mm -hmm. And what uh, happened? Mm -hmm. uh, every, every, everybody uh, starts to laugh. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Is is that uh, this guy count as a gossip? Um, probably yes. <laughs> I mean, if you said something that was not true, um, probably, yeah, because everybody made fun of this person. So even if you didn't want to, even if you didn't mean to, uh, probably, yes. <laughs> okay. okay. So uh, guys, uh, talking about the last, um, the last two questions we have here, what are the most common themes or the most common topics? Uh, or what are the most common things that you like to gossip about? So what do you think is uh, something very common that we gossip about? Other people? Soap operas, famous people. What are some of the most common things? What do you think? Maybe famous people. Okay, famous people. Uh, for example, the, about Shakira and Piqué. <laughs> yes, I was going to say that actually. So what is the gossip you heard about Shakira and Piqué? Uh, he has a new girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And what else? Uh, and she wrote a song for him. <laughs> Which one? And, and felicito. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the, the new girlfriend uh, wear uh, dance like uh, Shakira. She dances? Uh, uh, yeah, she dances oh. uh, uh, like a Shakira about uh, uh, weeks ago, I think so. Uh, weeks ago. Wow, well, I didn't know. But, the, but last what week, is... uh -huh. the last week, the last week, she danced like a Shakira and and put the video on on Twitter. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. But I heard that it, I think there is some a more recent gossip. I'm not sure. What do you know, guys? Did you read the news yesterday or today about Shakira and Piqué? No, me no. Are, are they getting divorced? Do you know? Uh, they are separate. That is, I know. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not like a big fan of, hi, Naomi, good evening, Rafa, hello, guys. I'm not like hello, a big good fan good of evening. famous people, so, but I read that they had an agreement uh, for the kids, you know, and they were supposed to stay and live with Shakira, but Shakira had to pay uh, for the plane tickets in case uh, Piqué went, wanted to travel to USA, uh, but I don't know. So, guys, come on. What gossips have you heard? <laughs> Tell us more gossips. Uh, Noemi, do you read a lot about famous people? Rafa? Uh, sorry, I don't understand. Oh, we are talking about some gossips that we have heard, and someone brought up uh, Shakira and Piqué. So, do you know anything about Shakira and Piqué's story? No, really. <laughs> no, really. Okay, that's all right. Guys, is there any famous person that you follow, probably in social media? Mm. Uh, or soap case, opera or movie or something? <laughs> yes, Kristen, tell us. In my case, 
I don't have social media. Really? Uh, wait, yeah. no Facebook, no, no Twitter, no only, Instagram. Only WhatsApp. Oh. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> Christian, ¿cómo puedes sobrevivir sin memes? <laughs> wow. Oh, it's, interesting. It's very common in persons IT. Really? And Rafa, I, what I about have, you? I you don't have Facebook? Facebook? Yes, but six months, seven, uh, I'm not see my You Facebook. don't check them very often? No. Why no. not? <laughs> wow, guys, I think we need this topic here. <laughs> okay, Co why? Congratulations, congratulations. Interesting. But why, guys? Eh, Arnoldo, creo que también trabaja en IT. Arnoldo, eh, do you work in IT? Can you confirm? Yes. Is it for you as well? Is it the same? You don't use Facebook or Twitter or TikTok? Uh, TikTok, I don't, I don't use, but Facebook, Facebook? Twitter, yes. Okay. Wow, guys, it, it's really interesting. Why not? Uh I I don't have passion to to read <laughs> or view the Facebook. Uh, but what about the news? Uh, uh, I I read technological uh, websites. I like uh, gadget or gizmo or gizmo. Okay. No Facebook. No Facebook. Oh my God, interesting. Arnoldo, tell us. Uh, um, ask him if don't use Reddit. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, guys, can you confirm? Christian, Rafa, do you use Reddit? I don't know what it is. Uh, no, uh, oh. I use Stack Overflow. Are they apps? No, no, in web. It's a development forum? Uh, yes. Yes. Do you use them? Yes. Uh, sometimes. Wow, very IT. interesting. I don't know why, guys, but I had the idea that IT people um, had more access, you know, or were more into social networks. So that you had Instagram, TikTok, and all those things. Um, but it's the opposite. <laughs> okay, super, super, okay. Uncommon, but nice. I, I, Imelda? I have, I have a friend that work in IT, area and they and he don't he doesn't use so much social media too oh so, so it is it, something common yes it's something common but but why is it because you spend too much time in front of the computer mm, i think uh, uh, uh facebook uh, consumes much time Yes, but <laughs> but we use Facebook. Okay. In wow. my case, I don't like Facebook. No. no? Are you serious? What yeah. do you prefer? I mean, I, I really love WhatsApp, but I but at some point, uh -huh. and so no Facebook, Instagram, Instagram, or TikTok. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wow. Very different taste here. I gotta super. I gotta be super honest. Um, I don't. I don't have TikTok. I have never had it, cause that I think that that consumes a lot of time. I have Instagram, but I don't like it. So I think I am kind of old school. So I prefer Facebook and and WhatsApp. But oh, okay, interesting people. <laughs> okay, any other random uh, fact you can tell us? In my case, I like watching YouTube videos. I don't know is is it count as a uh, social media 
media? Mm, I don't think so because you don't interact with people. So it is more entertain, uh, entertainment, right? Because uh, a menos que se ponga a pelear en los comentarios de YouTube, <laughs> I don't think um, that is going to count as social media. Well, guys, interesting. I didn't know. Interesting findings. So most IT people are not into social networks. Okay. Probably we can meet somebody who has been into there. Okay, um, guys. Yeah. In, sorry. In my case, my, my social, my favorite social media mm -hmm. is Twitter. I spent a lot of time there. I don't use it uh, Facebook or, or Instagram. I don't use it so much, but Twitter is my favorite social media because I prefer read to, to watch uh, image. Oh, okay. Yes, and you don't see a lot of gossip in Twitter. Yes. You see just information. <laughs> Do you see gossips? Yes, that is that is that uh, um how do you say hilo is thread thread yes thread I think there are a lot of thread about uh, gossip about uh, players about celebrities really about oh. politicians <laughs> oh you know I downloaded Twitter uh, when the president when Bukele took the presidency of El Salvador because the instructions were in Twitter and I didn't understand and everybody was like hey look at this look at this and I was super lost but then I found it boring because of what you many said people, yes many people said that because they uh, prefer to uh, look at the, the image mm -hmm. but in my case uh, I prefer read because it's not just about gossip. You can read about news, about a, a one topic that uh, interesting. interesting. It's interesting. <laughs> that is interesting. Uh huh. Yes. That is so, interesting for me. Yes. Uh, so for, because of that is my favorite social media. Mm, very interesting. Sounds good. Yeah. The only thing in Twitter is that um, that you can like use a lot of hashtags, right? Yeah. And you can also follow uh, um, like a topic, a thread. Yes. And another another thing that I like is the news are um, in real time, maybe or. Oh. Real time. Mm -hmm. For real. Yes, yes, yes. That is right. So everything is like immediately you know what is going yes, on. Immediately. Mm -hmm. Yes. That is right. Yeah, but I think I prefer videos and pictures. So <laughs> uh -huh. but but it sounds good. Yes. Now I don't I don't use it. I don't use uh, social networks a lot, I have to be honest. Uh because of the time, but but yes, I agree on that. Okay. Guys, thank you so much for sharing your, your opinions on that. That is really interesting. So we need to gossip, you know, <laughs> about a couple of things. Teacher. Uh, yes, have, miss. Have you heard that if you dream with, with a snake, <laughs> somebody <laughs> to tell some gossip about you? <laughs> no. So is... if you have dream, but recurring dreams? Como sueños recurrentes, recurring no, dreams. The people said that you, for example, if you dream yesterday, uh, yeah. in the future, something will do, will fight. fight. In uh, that case, a teacher will mm -hmm. be make a gossip. That is correct. Someone or, will create a gossip. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, or make a gossip, yes. Ah, okay. Well, the good thing is that I never remember my dreams, you know, so, <laughs> <laughs> so I can dream with the snakes and I will not remember that. Oh, but good to know. Um, do you believe in those things? Mm, in my case, I, I dreamt with the snake many times, but maybe I, I didn't know if it's some... some Somebody was talking about you. Uh -huh. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, a lot of people say that, that if you drink with snakes, if you drink with water and, and things like that, we got to talk about that. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
Okay, guys, we're going to move on a little bit because the topic that we have is kind of um, not long, but we need a lot of practice on that one. Hey, guys, ¿alguna vez han oído de causative? Have you ever heard of a causative? No. Have you ever? Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard about causative? No. Oh. No. Okay, no problem. No, I don't. No problem. Okay. So uh, let's take a look at a couple of things today. Vamos a hablar un poquito de servicios. Let's talk about services. Um, imagine that there are a couple of things that you don't do on your own, right? Because you can't, because you are not knowledgeable, and because you don't have the ability, right, to do it. So we go to a professional. Uh, for example, look at the picture. We have, I have my nails done. I don't, I cannot do my nails, so I don't even try. So I go to a professional so the person can do my nails. What are some of the services that you normally get? What is something that another person does for you? Hey, hey. Hair, mm -hmm. or the color, or the haircut, yes. So hair, nails, what else? Boys? Um, In my case, hair, good. Barber. Uh -huh, you go to the barber, right? Yeah. Or guys, alguien se corta el cabello solo. Do you no. cut, do you get, uh -huh, do you cut your hair? No. I do. Ni la pandemia, guys. Arnoldo? Uh, yes, I do. Are you serious? Yes. Wait, can I see your hair? Oh, no, but your hair is super short. <laughs> okay, so you just kind of, um, yes. you do it on your own. Yes. Does somebody help you? Um, sometimes, my girlfriend. Oh, okay, and what about the backside? Um, okay. Como quede, whatever. With a mirror. Ah, with a mirror. Oh, but can you do that? <laughs> okay. I mean, uh -huh, but your hair is like really short too. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. He, he, he put a uh, he put a uh, a plastic ball only in 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 him his hair. Mm, yeah, no, because, to, no, because it looks very short. <laughs> it looks really short. Okay. Yeah. Guys, what about the rest of you? What is what is something that you need a professional um, to help you with? What kind of things? So the barber, you said, yes. So normally people go to the barber, right? Yeah. For example, when you need to paint your house, do you paint it on your own or do you pay somebody to paint the house? I paint myself by myself. Okay, uh, very nice. But uh, oh. uh, for my car, uh, I go to the mechanic. Ah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Mechanical. So, mm -hmm, my house too, you know. I uh, we try to paint it on our own. So queda feito, but <laughs> trabajo honesto, you know. But no, it's just kidding. Uh -huh, and, and I save a couple of dollars, exactly. So yes, but for the car, as you said, we go to the mechanic. Um, anything else? Is there something, guys, que ustedes pueden hacer? What can you do? Talking about your house, what can you do? Can yeah. you repair some cables? Well, Christian, Rafa, Arnoldo, I believe in your cases, you can give maintenance to your computers, right? You don't need to pay another person, do you? Yes, no, I, I Sometimes I I fix my computer or a printer uh, mm -hmm. or sometimes electric. You do it on your own. If I can do, uh, I do. You don't pay another person. Oh yes. Uh huh. Okay. Rafa, Arnoldo, what about you guys? I don't pay. <laughs> you don't pay somebody. No. Uh -huh, uh, yeah, you can do it. Yes. Uh -huh, exactly. So, uh, guys, what else? Que es algo que pueden hacer? What's something case, you can do? Mm -hmm. In my case, I I can fix my own, my own clothes. For example, Very nice. 
Yes, for example, the, the pants that uh -huh. always they, they are so long to me <laughs> because okay. I'm short. <laughs> no, really, are you short? <laughs> yes, oh, okay. Short. So you so, need to cut. Like, yes, I need to cut. 20 so centimeters. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Same I even here. have to cut maybe 10 centimeters. <laughs> okay, I know the feeling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, so yeah. yeah, we can just fix or we can yeah. use men too, right? Um, yeah. So for example, guys, si se les cae un botón, can you fix it? Can you mend it? Can you put the button back? O lo llevan a arreglar? Do you take it to somebody, to the tailor or to the seamstress? No, teacher, I can't. Very nice, there we go. I, to, I, fix, to fix I, a button I, is fix. easy. But for example, si le tienen que, si hay algún, I don't know, like a little hole in your clothing or you need to fix something, do you take it to somebody? Do you take it to the tailor? In el caso de los hombres or seamstress in the case of women? Yeah, I go to the tailor usually. You go to but, the tailor, but okay. In, but in case of a button, we can fix uh, easily. Uh, we don't know. Uh, yeah, because uh, only you have to get a needle and thread and thread and, and go. Mm, good question, guys. Can put a <laughs> who can put a, who can put back a button? In my case, I even fixed my wedding dress. Oh, my that's so pretty cool. Yes. My clothes, I don't, um, how do you say, no se la confío a nadie? I don't trust oh. anybody? Yes, oh. I don't trust anybody to fix my clothes. I always fix my, my own clothes. Do you have a machine or by hand? Yes, I have a, I, I, I can do it by hand, but I have the machine. Wow, it's super nice. I'm going to take you my clothes too. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Even, like, even at the university, I, I get some money in that way because I fix uh, other people's clothes. But I remembered Good. that you wanted to be a designer, right? Yes. <laughs> yes, that's why. Wow. Uh, you know, that is something to admire. Super cool. I, I always like that. And especially sewing. So cool. Yes. Now, boys, what about you? Can you put back a button? I can you? I very nice. Okay, yes. okay, good. Rafa, I do it uh, a uh -huh. couple of times. Oh, yes, why not? Okay, super cool. Rafa, what no. about you? <laughs> no, I, I, I put a button, no, but in my, in my house. I am plumber, I am gardener, I am electrician. Ah, oh, nice. <laughs> okay. Oh, super cool. So you do other activities. So um, when you need, for example, to fix your uh, your shirts or your t-shirts, uh, who does it for you? Uh, your mom, your wife? Uh, My wife. Your wife yeah. fixes that. Okay. Okay. Very nice. So this is actually the use of causative. We use it when we are talking about services that we get. We cannot do it, so another person help us. And if you take a look, it's really interesting because the way we express it is weird. So we normally say, I have my nails done. Me hicieron las uñas, right? Or fui a que me las pusieran, fui a que me arreglaran. So that is the way we can use that one. Look at the following example here. And probably you will see, you know, you'll get familiar with this one. I have my car fixed yesterday. So why? What happened, Adolfo? Creo que no es con nosotros, right? <laughs> okay. So I had my car fixed yesterday. No es que yo lo arregle. Guys, yo solo lo veo, you know, and I have no idea what is there. So, Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. No problem. So I have my car fixed. It's like, me lo arreglaron, right? Somebody else. I don't need to say the mechanic, but you understand that the mechanic did it, right? So look at this one more time. I have my nails done, present. 
I have my car fixed yesterday, last week, two days ago, etc. So past, I have my car fixed. Look at this one. She has had a haircut. So I think we do it, right? Nadie se corta, guys. El, oh my God, el fleco. <laughs> El cepillo, nobody cuts the bang, not even in quarantine. Girls, alguien se lo cortó sola. Imelda, you cut your own hair. Imelda, le escucho un poquito lejos. ¿Usted se me escucha? Imelda. Yeah, but I, I think it's like the audio, it's kind of, um, it's kind of cutting off. Hey, girls, mm -hmm. alguien se cortó el cabello? Did you cut your own hair? Andre? No. Ellen? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Judy? No, Imelda, no. so si se lo cortó, you cut it? No, teacher. Judy, no? No. Okay. In my sorry, I don't know if now can you hear me? Yes, better? yes, 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 much better. Uh huh. Uh, well, in my case, I cut my own hair too. Oh, <laughs> are you serious? Yes. But the the ends. Como um, las the ends? No. Oh. The, all the the haircut I do it by myself. Oh my god! How? But. Not not always, uh, just when I am bored. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> but when I don't have enough time, I go to the salon to somebody else do it. But when I am bored, I cut my own hair. <laughs> oh my God. Miss, que mal idea que esté aburrida. It's a really bad idea. But I think um, it, I... I Ah, uh, I like you I like, like it. Uh -huh. Yes, how look? I like it when wow. I, I do it. But, but Miss, just the question. Alguna vez se lo dejado, like what we say in Spanish, che <laughs> Have um, you ever played a role? Maybe when I start, because I, I started to do it when I was a teenager. Um, when I start. <laughs> it doesn't look very well, maybe. Now you got the technique and everything. Um, when yes, I, when I, 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 when I, Julie, when I was a child, <laughs> my cousin cut uh, her eyes. Her eyebrows? Um, uh, the eyelash, yeah. No way. La pesta I... Las pestañas. No. <laughs> yeah, and, and she Lashes. didn't. And, and she can see. It. She didn't can see. <laughs> yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. I have heard of the stories of people like doing the yeah. the the eyebrows. Yeah. But the eyelashes. We we were doing a homework with my with my scissor, and and everybody said to to her, mm. hey. Te cortamos las pestañas. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. And you cut her eyelashes or she yeah. cut them herself? No, she cut them herself with my scissor, but everybody, mm. but everybody recommend uh, to, to her cut their, cut the eyelash. But the eyelashes, oh yeah. my God, okay. <laughs> Guys, alguien se cortó las eyelashes? <laughs> no, no. Wow, your eyelashes are so delicate. Okay. Yeah. That is super crazy. Es que uno cuando es joven, guys. <laughs> okay. Okay, interesting. So let's let's move on. We have a couple of more activities here. Like, for example, this one. So they have their house painted. What, do, what does it mean? Oh, pagaron a alguien, right? They have their house painted. Look at this one, for example. <laughs> uh, Adolfo's example is here. So she will have her make, I'm sorry, una palabra, makeup. She will have a, her makeup done. That means somebody else will do it for her. 
they will have their food served um, or cooked. So what do you have here or what do you see in common? Very easy, guys. We are going to use have como este verbo de servicio, right? This is going to be the, the verb that is going to help us with the activities. And again, usam, hablamos de servicios. Look at this, we will have our photo taken. ¿Qué más uso? Oh, I'm going to use past participles here. Past participle of the verb. So guys, let's think about the activities that you normally get services for, okay? And can you make a list super quick? Can you write three activities that you receive services for? I don't know. Do you normally get your photos taken when you have like an event? Uh, here we have, she is having her pizza delivered. Do you normally get a, your pizza delivered? She is getting her clothes designed. But again, no es que ella la haga, es que a ella alguien se la diseña, right? So she is getting her clothes designed. Um, we have this other one. She is getting a plastic surgery. So we can use, uh, she is getting a plastic surgery done. Look at this. We can use get. Y el más común es have, right? So these are kind of the most common verbs we are going to use. Guys, I'll give you like two minutes. Can you write two examples, please? Using services. ¿Qué es los, ¿Cuáles son los servicios que ustedes reciben? What are the services that you normally get? Mm, I'm going to leave an example here para que lo podamos seguir. You can follow this example. I have my nails done. So I have what service and then the past participle, right? Uh, done, taken, made, served, etc. Two minutes, guys.
Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for sharing your examples. I already see in the chat a couple of them. Uh, I see, for example, um, this one. I had my card uh, repainted last year. I called the mason to build a house. Okay, so with this one, I called the mason. Um, lo que hacemos es, como nos interesa más el servicio, no necesitamos agregar la parte de mason. Solo es como, eh, me construyeron la casa. So I have my, my house built. That's it. I have my roof repaired. Mm -hmm, very good. That would be the one. Guys, what about the rest of you? Um, what are some services that you normally receive? Miss, how mm -hmm. do you say when you go at the gasolinera? Mm -hmm. Gas service. Depende de qué quiere decir, Miss. <laughs> eh, I think it depends on that. Uh -huh. Es que es un servicio. Sí, podemos decir como me pusieron gasolina, me llenaron el tanque. So, I have my, my car fueled. So we can use that one. I have my car fueled. Fuel is como lleno, right? Or yeah. the, mm -hmm. so yeah, pretty much that would be the way we can express it. Yeah. Okay. Let me think about another one. I have my gas pumped. No, gas pumped, no. Yeah, that would be that, that fuel. That would uh, be the most uh, common. Mm -hmm. uh, to that get fuel. To get mm -hmm. fuel too. Yeah, because it's to get fuel. Exactly. Yeah. I have my washing machine repaired. Okay, very nice. I have my house painted. Okay. Guys, what about the rest of you? What services do you get? In my case, I get I have a bus taken. I'm not sure. I'm sorry, you said I have a fast. Bus. So I think in this case, it would be a service, right? I think that you wanted to say like, tomo el bus, something like that. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. um, probably not with this uh, case because this is más como para servicio, right? Um, like me cobraron, me repararon, me pintaron, so me llenaron, me dijeron, mm, dijeron no, no, not really, but pretty much it's like the things that you received. Mm -hmm. Me dijeron is gossip. Yeah, that's a gossip. <laughs> Dígame, Miss, tell me, tell me. Hi, hi, do you, uh, how do you say, um, talar árboles? No, talar, no, sino que eso como... Podar. A podar o podar, ¿no? Yeah, a uh, cut branch. Cut branch, thank you. Uh, or yeah. not. Yeah, we can call it trimming también. Or, or yeah, call it trimming. So, or, or nickname. No. No, no nick, nickname es como un Oh, no, 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 I got it, got it. Yeah. El nickname es apodo. Pero como el mal nombre que le llamamos a las personas. <risa> el mal apodo. <risa> Entonces, sí es apodo, pero de otro tipo. <risa> yeah. Ok, thank you. Miss, could be I had my dogs help with? I had my dogs help with. Help. But I have my dogs. Oh, let me write it. Okay. I have I have my dogs. Mm, what is the word after dogs? Uh, maybe she can say I had my dogs uh, groomed. Mm, that will work. Es que normalmente uh, con este tipo de servicios no mencionamos quién lo hace, right? We omit that part porque asumimos que ya sabemos who is the person. I like that word. Very nice job, Christian, sir. I have my dogs uh, groomed. Yeah, so that will work. That will be okay. Uh, uh, mm, let me see. There are a couple of things we can definitely use. Uh, 
Y estaba escribiéndoles, guys, la palabra de para árboles. So with trees, we can use the word trained. So I yeah. have my uh, tree streamed. That would be the word. Thank you so much. I have my dogs groomed. So se entiende que como que los lavaron, right? Los pusieron bonitos, chulos. So that is groomed. Mm -hmm. Les cortaron el cabello and everything. Cabello, pelo. I don't know how to call that. But yes, that is the idea with groom. Um, let me see, any more examples, guys? Do you have more? Okay, no worries. So let's start practicing uh, some conversations with the same topic. Si tienen más, guys, no están seguros, let us know or Compartanos uh, this one too. I have my refrigerator broken. Okay, yes, that works. Uh, solo que como es un servicio, uh, se podría entender como que alguien la quebró, right? Mm. <laughs> uh -huh. So normally it's como lo puesto. So I had my, I had my refrigerator, I don't know, fixed, moved, et cetera, et cetera. So okay. give me just a moment, but, but it's a very good example. So it definitely works. Okay, guys, give me a moment. Um, okay, let me present this conversation so we can practice this a little bit. Hi, Gabby, good evening. So guys, uh, go to your material, please. Um, so let's go over there. And we are in unit number three, page number 27. And uh, we have this little conversation with Cossetude. It says, read the conversation and take turns practicing this one. So, volunteers, Christian, thank you so much. I'm going to take you. And Rafael, please help me with the second person. So Christian, help me with Andrea. And Rafa, help me with Vincent, please. Okay. okay. Uh, watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes that can make you flow like a, fe a feather. A feather. They are very feather. Feather. Sorry, feather. No, they sorry. are very popular at work. Mm -hmm. I will never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. Mm -hmm. I won't. Either would a brand that delivers what it promises make customers buy it regardless of price. Mm -hmm. Maybe they really make you faster. Mm -hmm. The marketing department sure is good because they get, up, get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a repair to see what all the fuss is about. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Okay, so there are a couple of expressions here that we can, oops, wait, 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 wait. My camera is deactivating by itself, okay. So let's take a look at a couple of expressions here. First of all, look at this expression, like a feather. Guys, repeat with me, like a feather. Like a feather. Like a feather. Like uh -huh. feather. It says that they are selling shoes that make you float like a feather, right? Uh, so super liviano, so like a feather. Next one, all the fuss. All so, the fuss. All the fuss, uh-huh. So all what is fuss. all the fuss? Oh, like when we say in Spanish, ah, oh, you are making a big drama. <laughs> okay, so you are making a big drama out of something. Um, you are making a lot of noise, uh, on a little thing. So that is called a fuss, right? Like too much, too much drama, too much upon something. Super simple. Um, so look at this one. And we also have the expression make, el que revisamos ayer. Um, like they are cell issues that can make you float. Uh, what it promises makes customers buy it or get all these people to buy their shoes. So también tenemos el verbo get that is part of the most common. 
So guys, what are the most common verbs when we are talking about uh, causatives? Well, part of the verbs are make, we can use get, and we can use have. So these are the most common verbs we will use to talk about these um, obligations, what somebody else helps you with, services, etc. Uh, let me just move forward. Give me a moment. Ya vamos a practicarlo, no worries. We're going to practice this in a moment. So, and... Hold on, hold on. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Okay, there we go. So, guys, take a look at the following exercise here. This is on the, the next page, page number 26, and it says... Look at examples and then complete the exercises uh, below. So, vamos a practicar un poquito of these verbs y luego practicamos uh, the causative uh, with the past participle. So, um, Andrea, please, can you help me read make? And, um, and, 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 hi, Iris, good evening. And Judy, can you please help me read get? Okay. Uh, the marketing department makes employees revise goals and metrics every month. The poor identified of the brand made people look for products for different companies. The brand experience offered by Samsung made consumers prefer their mobile phones. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, Judy, can you help me read get, please? Okay. The ones under get. Get, uh, I can get customers to love our premium service. The project manager say, said it is not possible to get all those customers to feel identified with the brand in a short time. The advertising events will get people to order products online more often. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. So guys, what is the difference between get and make? Look at this. So first with make, el verbo no va, no va agregado o no se le agrega anything else. Make revise, made look, may prefer. In the case of get, si necesitamos to. Uh, get to love, get to feel, get to order. So, and, uh, ¿qué más lo eran ver? What else do you see between make and get? En sentido, guys, ¿cuál es más fuerte? Like an obligation or something. Make. Yes, make right? Because you have the idea that if something have to do. Exactly. So make is a yeah. little bit stronger. When it says the marketing department makes employees revise. So es que es una obligación, right? So they push mm. them in a way. And instead get. Es más casual. I can get customers to love. Pero no es que I can make customers to love or make customers love. No es que los van a obligar. So that is the difference between these two words, make and get. So guys, let's try to complete the exercise that is on number five. Use the verse in parentheses to complete the sentences. Uh, we have the verbs here between parentheses, right? And we have obviously to use we need to use either get or make but make you have to be careful makes. if it is exactly third person if it is past if okay. it is future etc guys i'll give you like five minutes i think it's enough and then we check and then we go for uh, speaking practice so five minutes guys Customer attention, my company try every sort of a strategy. Every sort of a strategy. Marketing.
Uh, guys, are we ready? Yeah, ready to share. Guys, uh, what about the rest? Are you ready as well? Uh, Christian, Rafa, do you need more time? Kenya, uh, Noemi? I'm Kenya? ready. Okay, nice, nice. Okay. Oh, perfect, thank you guys for the confirmation. Okay, let's take a look here. So we have, let me make this bigger because I don't see. And there we go. Okay, it says um, number one. Hold on a second because I went all the way down. There we go. Okay, guys, so number one says customer's attention makes companies try to this sort of strategy. Number two, marketing helps businesses. Yeah. What do you have in number two? Get, 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 get customers get. by products. Get customers, get customers by. To buy. buy. Ah, buy. interesting. Get buy. customers buy. buy. Or get, get customers to buy. to buy or get customers to buy. For me, uh, get customers to buy. To buy. Ah, look, look at this. Get infinitive. So get two. Exactly. Okay. So get customers to buy. Very good. Number three. We can't. Make, make, make people. Make, make people. Mm -hmm. Make. Make. People make. like. Very good. We can make people like our products, exactly, without the right strategy. That's it. Not to, just we can make people like. like. Number four, online stores. Get. Yes. Get. Get. Uh -huh. yes. loyal customer to help. Yes, very good. Online stores get their loyal customers to help. Excellent. Number five, the marketing director. Makes, makes people makes people vote for the best good aids. good makes people vote excellent and the last one guys number six top businesses make make employees make take their employees mm -hmm. their employees take concentrating on marketing okay guys excellent super super good job yes Claro. Revisamos cuando vamos a agregarle um, uh, a get y a make person. también. Exactly. For example, here, marketing helps businesses. Hablamos de businesses, que es una palabra en plural. Entonces, They. no necesitamos eh, la S, right? That would be only get. Eh, voy a escribirlo. Wait. That would be only get. That should work. So get, uh, we can, and this one says, uh, we can't, como tenemos can't, no podemos hacer cambios en el verbo, so make. Mm -hmm. Online stores, este es plural, entonces get. The marketing director, ah, esta sí es singular, so I have make, makes. The businesses, ah, pero businesses es plural, entonces, Make, no le puedo agregar una S. So, yeah, I mean, es la misma regla de presentes. Si la palabra es singular, le agrego S. If it is plural, no necesito hacer cambios. Mm -hmm. Thanks. You are so welcome. Okay. Um, and so let's get started. Guys, we, I have one exercise for you. Give me a moment. We are going to do a little bit of a role play. Oh, but let's complete just one exercise before we move on. So in this exercise, guys, uh, we need to select one of the two options that is the best uh, for the sentences. So, ayúdenme con number one. Uh, Sally made me 
take off or to take off? ¿Cuál sería la más adecuada en number one? May take mm. Take Make off. me take off. Make me to take off. Take off. Take, take off. Take yes, acabamos de revisar que no lleva a two, no lleva nada más. Excellent, excellent. Number two. I see that you have no time to clean the house on your own. So you had better get somebody done net for to you do. or to do it for to you. Do. To do. To do it for you. Very good. Number three. What you should do before an emergency occur is to get your fire alarm to fix or fixed. Ah, acabamos de ver los causativos, los causative. Fixed. Is to get your fire alarm ah, fixed. fixed. Exactly. Fixed. Acá cambia la idea totalmente, right? So fixed. Es decir, fixed. que alguien más la arregle por usted. Mm -hmm. Number four, she had to have her phone number change or change because she was receiving of sync calls from strangers. Uh, it's a causative, uh, I think uh, the correct word is change. The first change, change or change? No, change. 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 This one, right? The second one. Yes, that is correct. Y aparte porque no lo puede hacer ella. Alguien tiene que hacer. Mm -hmm. Number five. Her dress was too short. She had, she had it shortened or shortened? Uh, shortened. 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 The second. Mm -hmm. The second, the, very the good. The second, yeah. In other words, alguien más lo hizo por ella. Excellent. Number six, you'd better have a plumber. You, you'd better have a plumber repair or repaired the repair. leaky bathroom. The first or the second? The, the first one. The the very, ah, esa está bien tricky, guys. Está bien tramposa, very tricky. You'd better have a plumber repair or repaired? Uh, repaired. Repaired. Uh, the, the second first one. or second? Yeah. The second one because um, it's a causative. The, yeah, mm. it's a causative. No, mm -hmm. I don't know. No. You first take one. One. The first it's, one. The first no. one. It's, it's suggesting that uh, the lake in the bathroom was fixed. Because it says you better. So you better is like you should. Yeah, yeah. Uh, deberías. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. guys, recordemos algo. Eh, utilizamos have más pasado participio cuando no mencionamos quién lo hace. Solo la actividad, right? Like, for example, um, I have my hair done. I have my nails done. I have the pet groomed. No digo by the vet. No menciono quién lo está haciendo. In okay. this case, it says you had better have a plumber. No puedo utilizar la segunda porque plumber es la persona. No estoy yeah. hablando del servicio, estoy hablando de la persona. So, okay. you better have a plumber repair. Uh, repair. Uh -huh. okay. Repair the leak in the bathroom. Podría ser esto también, pero no es pasado, right? Because this one is for like present. So yeah. you should, like a recommendation. Like present and the future. Mm -hmm. And the last one, guys, number seven. Instead of buying a new pair of shoes, I have my old ones repaired or repaired. The second. The second. Repaired. The second. Sí. Repaired. Exactly. Ahora sí, porque ya no es la persona, sino my shoes. Yes, mm. a little, a little like, uh, it's just a matter of getting used to it. So guys, vamos a practicar un poquito esos casatiros. We are going to have a little role play. Vamos a crear dos grupos because algunos están... Eh, Working, you know, and doing, um, and you know, a little busy. So here it says, road play situation. Your family is having problems, so you'll agree to have a family meeting. In groups, uh, decide who is going to be parents and who are going to be the children. Or puede ser un papá, you know, una mamá, whatever. It says, um, the role plays. Children, your parents are too strict. Look at the ideas in the, you are not going to look at the ideas. 
those are the things you want to do. And in the meeting, try to persuade your parents to let you do them. So what are you going to do? Guys, como cuando tenemos a reuniones con nuestros papás, right? Y empezamos a reclamar. I know, mom, but you are too strict. Usted me hace ir a hacer la comida todos los días. So you make me cook every day for my brothers and sisters, and I don't like it. So van a intentar persuade them to let you do a couple of activities. Guys, ¿qué, les pueden, eh, ¿qué pueden querer? You know, um, hacer o que les den permiso. So we can use... Um, I don't know, guys, do use the best of your abilities <laughs> to persuade your parents. Parents, your children are bad. Oh, so they are terrible. Uh, those are the things, again, no tenemos una lista here. In the meeting, make them agree to follow the new rules. Convince them, guys. When you are ready, you can start the meeting. You can say, thank you for coming. It's time to talk. So this is going to be the intro, right, for the parents. Um, so thank you so much for coming. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being here. It's time to talk. So Christian, tell me. <laughs> okay, so guys, you got to decide. Vamos a decidir quiénes son hijos, who are going to be children, who are going to be parents, right? And usamos los causative. Remember that causative is porque son obligaciones que de alguna manera nos hacen cumplir. Like make me. Um, get me right. Um, podemos usar también like I don't know like the the services that we receive, the things that uh, they made us do, etc. So yes, I think that they, this will work. Um, guys, I'm going to give you like 15 minutes to prepare it y para que decidan quién es papá, quién es hijo, and uh, intenten persuadir a sus papás and parents. Make your children agree to the new rules. So, pongamos reglas, right? So, you have to set up some rules. Um, let's go, guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go.
Uh, okay, guys, we are going to wait a couple of minutes eh, mientras los demás regresan también. So while the rest of them are back. So give me just a moment here.
Okay, thank you guys for coming back. I think todavía nos faltan algunos. Okay, so hold on a moment. Okay, guys, uh, so I believe there are still a couple of uh, people missing here, but hopefully they can be able to join. Um, so we had like this little conversation that was like super fun. Uh, so we had like some like, parents, so some so the so so children here. And uh, guys, uh, comenzamos con el primer grupo. Let's get started with group number one. Um, so one here is Adolfo, Kenia, Angelica, Gabby, and Rafa. So Rafa siempre es el papá, ¿verdad? Teacher. Okay, very good. So Rafa is going to be the father. Uh, ¿Y quiénes son los hijos? Christian and Adolfo, but no sé si Adolfo estaba acá. Uh, yes, I am here. Amazing, perfect, perfect. Uh, praying for my for my dad because my mom uh, his her gone. <laughs> Dear mommy. No, it's raining. So it's raining where she lives. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, guys. So si están listos, let's get started. Uh, so Rafa usted abre la reunión. Hey. Cristian, yo creo que se le está cortando. What's going? Hell, uh, where, where is our dad? Rafa, okay. Okay, okay, dad. Good evening. Uh, we have something to tell you. Okay, tell me. Uh, Christian and me, we want to go to the fire festival in Nehapa. In <laughs> It's yes. <laughs> it's, no, it's not dangerous. Christian, please tell for my for my dad for our dad. Uh, daddy. <laughs> daddy it's not dangerous. Please uh, let us go. <laughs> Are you crazy? It's more dangerous. I, uh, more I uh, I can go the then. No, it's dangerous. It's dangerous for the players, but uh, we, we, if we, we if we, only if we go, go only to seeing, to watching, to seeing. No, we, we don't, we don't need okay. or we don't want to participate. Only to seeing. You, you, you are what on TV. <laughs> oh no oh no dad it's um, not the same yeah it's, it's not the same we have uh, we need or we want to to live the extreme extreme experience in Nehapa and and so uh, also uh, we have a friend of us is awaiting for us please oh. <laughs> uh, I went. I went to visit uh, bad friends in Hapa. Mm -hmm. I went to visit uh, bad friends. Bad, bad friends. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, there are there are two care. Uh, there are two care awaiting for for us in the Hapa. In this moment. <laughs> no. You, you don't watch oh, TV. <laughs> that plan control territorial the police <laughs> no it's 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 very safety there are military and and uh, uh, in all place in Nehapa is secure I I know and, and your man, uh, your mom, <laughs> she wants the you. Okay. For me, okay. I don't know about Christian. Christian, do you want to 
to go with me and with my mom or not or on, only <laughs> the the idea is is go only you and me only we you and me go, together right on. yeah okay if your mom does no problem <laughs> Okay. Wow. It, it, but the problem is that the mother is not here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thanks. Oh, but that was like a very nice, uh, you know, condition though. Okay. Like to have an adult with you. Guys, thank you so much. That sounded super cool, super natural. We are still missing one, one group, but I think we can listen to them on Monday. Um, les escuché también un par de cosas que a little bit of make, a little bit of let. So very nice job with that. Guys, eh, I don't want to hold you longer. Eh, so gracias por acompañarnos ahora. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for your time. And uh, espero verlos el día lunes. So hopefully, uh, you know, we are going to have, oh, you know, ya desapareció mi cámara. On I'm Monday. having some issues with my camera too. Okay, so yeah, hopefully on Monday we can continue with that. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys. Have an amazing night. Que disfruten su fin de Helen. Great to good see night, you. Good night, everybody. Bye, so, bye guys. Bye. Have a good night. Good bye, night. Bye, bye. 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 bye, Bye, guys. See you next bye. week. Yeah, see you. Have a good rest. <laughs>